I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions to practice for probability test. The question here is the probability that a student likes math is 0.7 and the probability that a student likes English is 0.2. If only one in 10 students like both math and English, what is the probability that a student chosen at random does not like math or English? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let's see what are we given and what we need to find. So let me write down all the things which are given to us. Probability that a student likes maths. Let's say probability that student likes maths is 0 0.7. Probability that student likes English is 0 0.2. And if only 1 in 10, 1 out of 10, likes both math and English, let me write P both, is 1 out of 10, that is 0 0.1. What is the probability that a student chosen at random does not like math or English? That means uh, does not like, let me say, M prime or means union English, right? This is what we need to find that's the question i hope the things are very clear you can pause and still answer the question now to find this probability we can always uh, use the method of inclusion and exclusion probability that a student does not like both will be equal to some of those who don't like maths plus probability for those who do not like English take away when we count them together twice right so we have to take away once that is both reciprocal that is what it is correct now probability of those who do not like mass will be 1 minus 0 0.7 right? 1 minus 0 0.7 from here we get that as far as probability of those who do not like English is concerned is 1 minus 0 0.2 and for the ones who do not like both will be 1 minus 0 0.1 so that gives us the probability 1 minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.3 plus that is 0 0.8 take away 0 0.9 correct so that is, is uh, 1.1 take away 0 0.9 let me do it in steps and that gives us the probability as 0 0.2, right? So our answer is probability that a student does not like maths or English in this given scenario is 20%, 0 0.2 or you can write 20%, right? So that is how such questions can be solved. I hope the method is clear and you understand this along with the concept of inclusion and exclusion. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.